All right, we're back on the battlefield today. Battlefield 2042. I'm squad leader. We want to take this objective. Hopefully there's not too many people around here. There does seem to be a few, however. Can we get a cheeky nade in there to start the game? Playing a sun dance. Hello. What are you doing there? Oh, you're dead. I've unlocked the uh, M416. It's, uh, I haven't played this game for a while. We're just getting back into the swing of things, really. Oh! RPG to the face! Absolutely ruined. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to get on today, actually, because there's something contentious going on. Season 7 is just around the corner for 2042. I think we're getting two new maps, which is pretty cool. I think that's the first time we can say that for uh, a 2042 season, actually. Where are all these players? Are they over the other side? Hello. You're dead. And there's one more somewhere. Oh, hello. Hey, gotcha. So yeah, there's something contentious happening. Season 7, two new maps supposedly. I think new weapons, new stuff as well. So, you know, a good sounding season. Um, but the contentious thing has got nothing to do with new content. It's actually got a lot to do with older content. Now, when I say older content, it's got something to do with the shooting mechanics in the game. DICE released this video on social media. Oh, you're dead. Well, you're right in the corner, aren't you? Yeah, they released this video on social media which showed some changes that they're going to make. You just made my grenade bounce back. They're going to make some changes. I'll get this out. <laughs> they're going to make some changes. Um, they're, they're adding more recoil and visual recoil, I think. They're, they're changing the way that recoil is going to work in 2042. Basically... They're going to add a bit more visual flair to the recoil. Because everyone says that all the guns in 2042 just shoot the same. They're all like plastic toys. And they don't really feel like they've got much uh, personality. Let's put it that way. And do you know what? I agree a little bit. They do feel a little bit stale. A little bit lacking in... Hello. Did you just run yourself over with your own vehicle? I think you did. <laughs> they feel like they're lacking a bit of personality. Let's put it that way. So yeah, this video shows the before and after of these recoil changes. And the reason it's got everyone fired up is because they, they spoke about it as like visual recoil. You know, not not real recoil, visual recoil. So they're literally trying to tell people that they're going to add artificial recoil to the guns. Now, the reason that annoys people, I think Battlefield players specifically, is because um, we had a system that sort of did this in Battlefield 4. Where the real recoil, yeah, nice nades. The real re recoil of the gun was not always represented on the screen. So sometimes, like your your uh, sight would bounce around and not actually go, not actually show where your bullets are going, and where you were pointing didn't necessarily mean your bullets were going there. And so this video stirred up a lot of people talking about this because we had this in Battlefield 4, and Dice got rid of it. Apparently it was a bug. Some developers said it's a bug. Some people said work was done to get rid of this visual recoil. Basically to add like additional flair to the guns. And they got rid of it in Battlefield 4. And I think the game was infinitely better for it. Because then where you're shooting and where you're pointing is where your bullets are going to go. And the only thing that would affect it is like bullet velocity and bullet drop and things like that. So there were still things that would affect it at longer ranges. But specifically in the close to mid range. Where you point and shoot is where your bullets were going to go. Now... That may no longer be the case in Season 7 of Battlefield 2042. It may be that when you point and shoot, your bullets are not going to go 100% where you're aiming. And they've already kind of done this a little bit with, uh, with 2042 when they added like dispersion or bloom to the guns. When I don't know if anybody was really asking for them to do that, but they did it anyway. Um, so they've already kind of done it, and now they're, they're sort of doing it again. And this was a feature in Battlefield 4 that they removed, or was maybe a bug in 2042 that they removed. And now they're bringing it back as an actual feature for 2042. So I'll be honest, I'm not really sure about this. I don't know if this is a good move or not. I will be honest, and you guys know, I, I haven't played much 2042. I didn't really get on with it when it launched. Um, it was really disappointing at the launch, but the game is largely a lot better now. Still got things in it that I don't really like. I don't really like the specialist system and things like that. But they, they have made the game better. And so I want to start playing it again. Especially with the next Battlefield game coming out next year. But 
with the, with a shooting mechanic, it's really important that you get the shooting mechanics in games right. Because if the, if it doesn't feel good, then, you know, that, that's largely what you do 95% of the time. You've got a gun in your hands. You're running around. A lob a nade. We get a res. Yeah, I think we get a res. Put that in. Self-heal. Let's go. Oh, sniper! Oh, my God! No! Oh, my God. I managed to get away from that. I'm still being shot in the butt. Oh, it's a tank. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was crazy. So, yeah. That, and, like, if, if the bullets... Like, here. Like, where I'm pointing and aiming, my bullets are going. So, if that, that feels good to me. Like, there's still dispersion in the game, but you can't feel it as much. If they're going to add visual recoil into the game, which is going to stop my bullet... Well, where my reticle is on the screen, if then the bullets are not going where that reticle is, that's not really a good thing, in my opinion. We got rid of it in BF4, and now it could be back in, um, in 2042. I'm, I'm not sure about it. I'm really not sure about it. I don't know. Nah, <laughs> it just got destroyed. But yeah, this has caused quite a lot of contention on social media. Some people don't seem to care, which, you know, I totally get. I mean, if you don't care, you don't care. Some people are saying, oh, now it's actually going to give the guns more personality because the recoil is going to be, like, individual to each gun and different optics will make the recoil feel different and things like that. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. But why can't we do that with just real recoil? Why do we have to have visual recoil that might mean where you're shooting is not where your bullets are going? Like, why can't we just... Why can't you just put real recoil in its place or something like that? I guess, and this is me just completely guessing here, that that takes a lot of development time to do. And so what they've done is created this largely cheap version of that. And it sounds... I don't mean cheap as like, you know, that this that like they just want to save money. What I mean is it takes a lot of development time. So it's cheap in terms of development time for them to do it this way by just adding visual recoil to the game instead. As opposed to adding real recoil to the game. Ouch. That hurt. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about it. I mean, I'll play it, and I'll see what it feels like. And, and you know, it, it might not make a huge amount of difference, but I'm just very against mechanics in video games that stop you from doing the thing that you're supposed to do. And so, in Battlefield, when I shoot my gun, I largely expect the bullet to go where I'm aiming. If the bullet doesn't go where I'm aiming, we've got a bit of a problem. And do you know what actually concerns me more than this being implemented into Battlefield 2042? Is that this potentially being used in the future for a certain other Battlefield title that might be in development right now. Which certainly is in development right now. I really hope that this is, quote unquote, just a cheap way of implementing a little bit of character and a little bit of flair to specific weapons in the game. And they're just doing it because it's like, well, we don't have much development time left or budget for this Battlefield game. So let's just do it this way for now. And then for our next game, we'll do proper recoil. We'll do proper this, proper that to make sure that we our guns do have proper personality. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. It's just it caused quite a lot of, you know, conversation and contention on social media. And a lot of people were a bit like... This might not really be the answer that we're looking for. Again, I have to try it in gameplay. But I'm not 100% sure if this is really the answer that people wanted. Can we get on this objective? Yeah, there we go. We're on it. i capture it. Oh, the guy is going upstairs. Yeah, he's dead now. I think I heard footsteps outside there. Maybe I didn't. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, because I'd be really interested to hear what you think on this topic. Do you care that they're going to try and add some visual recoil into the game that maybe when you're shooting down sight and like here, for example, right, my bullets are going there. There's a recoil pattern so I can follow it. All that kind of stuff. Do you care that much that maybe that's going to disappear? Or would you prefer to just keep it as it is and, you know, your bullets do go where you're supposed to go? You dead? You're dead. Oh! <laughs> Two quick kills in quick succession there. I got taken down by the incendiary. I don't think I'm going to get a res. I think the medics are too far away. Wait. Closing in. Yes. Come on. I'd love a res. I'd love one. Yes, cutie. Let's go. Thank you, my friend. That's really kind of you. We're going to get a capture on this one. How many tickets we got left? 
170 on the enemy team. We do seem to be winning, which is good. I did play a game of... Uh, I think it was... Was it Spearhead earlier? The one with the... Oh, bloody hell, that was... Um, <laughs> But yeah, I played a match of Spearhead earlier and uh, failed miserably on that one. I'm not I'm not really sure where all the cover is or if there's any cover whatsoever. So, anybody over here? Hello. You're dead. Yeah, there wasn't... I didn't know where the cover was, so I was very I was very confused. Um, I haven't played that map very much. I know I have played Kaleidoscope. It's not one of my favourite maps in the game, but... Hey, it's better now they redesigned it and basically took away half of all of the... <laughs> all of the objectives. So at least it's a bit of a smaller map, but... That's one thing for 2040, uh, for the 2025, Battlefield 2025. It's the maps have got to be better, man. Like, these huge open space maps, I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm not about that at all, really. We've got to have... We've got to have better, like, urban close quarter maps and things like that. Things that are going to mix vehicle and infantry gameplay a hell of a lot better than what we've got here. Still can't believe you get 1,000 XP for doing that shooting one of those recon drones and if it's the first one you get, you get an intel ribbon you get a thousand xp for it it's crazy it's a lot of xp oh, hello. wonder if oh that is is that a vehicle oh, we're losing charlie 2 as a result of going for, for bravo but hey i want to take bravo let's get there let's get the xp come on They're actually holding us off on it right now, so we need more men on it. Oh, no, there we go. We're good. We're good. Put that armor plate on. Oh, there's an enemy on it. Oh, okay. You're around that corner then, aren't you? Yeah, you're down. Okay, this is a good end to the game. Fair enough. We're actually now not... We're now going to... They're now going to bleed our tickets, but we should be able to wear them down. It's only like... Like 30... 30 tickets or something, so... Hello? What are you doing down there? I think they're dead. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about... Uh, about the visual recoil. I'm not sure I'm a fan of it. Just tried to shoot a fire extinguisher. It's no good, is it? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a fan. But hey, you might be. I think uh, because you're in the majority, I'm in the minority, and I've not played much Battlefield. Maybe my opinion doesn't really matter anymore. Maybe I'm washed. Who knows? <laughs> but guys, thank you very much for watching. There will be more Battlefield content on the channel because I'm enjoying playing it again. And I hope you are enjoying watching it too. But yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll catch you soon.